back to part 11 of the Stuart S50 build. We're getting close now. Uh, this is the last of the major parts to be made. This is the eccentric and the eccentric strap. A uh, similar process to what we've used in the past. Um, you'll just see on the video near the end there's a, a little bit missing. I don't know what happened, but my, my camera failed. I've got the audio, so if you ever if you want to listen to the audio, please ask and I'll send it to you. Uh, of the machining of uh, the different the, the eccentric sheath, uh, eccentric strap. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so I basically explain it in a few photographs at the end. So apologies for losing the, the video. I uh, don't know, I'll say where it's gone. And it, I only found out after I'd, I'd sort of machined everything, so I couldn't go back and re-machine because it was already done. Uh, it's quite a simple process. It's just basically the slitting uh, of the eccentric strap, just so, so you, then it'll, it'll clamp and squeeze onto the, the eccentric. I saw, I saw the base that I went missing, uh, but you'll see it on the photographs. Uh, again, if you don't like, mind liking and subscribing to the channel, and if you've got any questions, especially about the bits that's missing, just please put them down below and we'll, we'll answer them. So we'll get on with the, the video now, we'll catch you at the end. So here's the eccentric strap, set up in a four jaw chuck. What we actually did, we centred it uh, on the outside edge using a DTI. Um, another quick little sort of visual check that I did, uh, just before we face it off, I actually run the tool just round, so we put a circle in the centre and just make sure it, it looped like it was in the centre of the, uh, the casting, the brass casting. Uh, so we just face this off, it was a uh, nice, Finish on this side, and also when you mount it in the forge, I make sure there's enough clearance. It's uh, 732s wide when it's machined, so we've got a pair tap as well, so low enough for your parting. I think it was just over a quarter inch um, that I had sticking out, and it just gives us just a, enough to to machine off and pair up at the same time. So as always, uh, use the centre drill. Uh, let's get us started. So what we do, we'll just send a drill, and we drill it up in stages, sort of uh, five mil, uh, eight mil, up to about thirteen mil, and then get a boring there in there uh, to take it out to size. And the diameter uh, internal size wants to be five eighths, which is same as the bar stock. Just check your bar stock that comes with the kit, because mine was just slightly under. So what I actually did, I just took this out to just under, obviously the five eighths, so it just fit onto the bar stock. I think it's a 13 mil going through. So we've done a couple of other drill steps. This one's just up, up to 13. Now let's set the boring bar now, just taking it to, to the size of your bar stock that comes with the kit. I think on mine, I think it was about 620 though, so it was only, only 5 that wonder. Anyway, I'm parting off. I'll take a look a bit slower than normal with this because um, tools don't tend to like what we call an interrupted cut. So the clunk 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 noise that you can hear. Obviously that's the, the casting bit, so we just take it steady into those. And like I say, I think I've done this just over 732s and I can just have a little bit of a uh, face just in a the machine I can finish off with a bit of wet and dry on the surface plate.
I say a little too though, just get your piece of paper or whatever just to catch the pair so you don't get dummies on the on the cross slide. And there it is. Now what we're doing is the eccentric itself. So what we've done we've offset the piece of bear um, the offset, the throws they call it, is 332s. So what we did, we placed it in the, the jaw, put a clock on and actually moved it over um, using the jaws of 332s and then uh, drilled it out and reamed it to, to quarter inch which will fit onto your, uh, your, your shaft. And then what we're doing now is taking this down um, down to five, uh, 532s. It's not an important measurement this, there's plenty of room uh, for this to fit as long as you can get your grub screw in there. Uh, we'll take this down to a, a diameter of 7 16 of an inch. That's the final pass to get down to size. Looks nice. I'll just take that edge off that I just, just slid down. What we're doing now is using the, the rear tool post again to put the groove in. Um, this one needs to go down, I think it's about a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, just check the plan. Uh, this is with the end of the, the bad rod, screws through the eccentric strap and locates into this. This is, I'm um, sorry, we've changed it to three jars, I'll just notice. Uh, well, I'm just checking it out, I've done the measurement, uh, which gives it the thickness that we require. But I've just put this on there, just to make sure that it is uh, just clearing to give us enough on the bar, the bar stock itself, so the eccentric strap goes on. i just pack this straight through now. Comes in under the sweat and dry. And that's the all on the inside of the eccentric in here. Seems like a helicopter going over. Again, just took it easy. This is a centre strap <coughs> and the milling now. So, this uh, we'll drill this straight through into the centre and tap it out 7B here. So that's the tapping drill going through now, um, 2.1 mil ready for tapping. And then we'll move it over to drill. Um, I think the centres is uh, 1332s. And this again will drill right through of a 7 year clearance, which is 2.6 mil. And then like I said, this will be cut with a slitting saw 
which will then give you the, the clamping around the eccentric. And it's somewhere in about here, I said when the camera failed. The audio is nice to listen to, all the machining. So there it is. Um, so yes, yeah, so what we did there, you can see, we just put the slit in. So just put the, the slit in there, tap the bottom, as you can see it uh, on the picture there, seven so BA, and that's really just the clamp on. We also drilled the little grub screw, like you can see there. Job done. Um, so there we go. Like I said, a little bit of footage missing there, but I think it got quite explained about. Uh, how we did it was just, just using the slitting saw. You can even just use a, a hand saw if you wanted to, a little axe or an advice. Uh, it's only just to, to open that up to give us that uh, bit of movement for, for clamping. Um, so I said, so just a few little bits now to do. Uh, might just do them off camera um, and do them, and then, then the next video might just be actually uh, setting up the timing and uh, the first sort of run on her of the, of the, the little uh, steam menu, which would be good. Um, so I said, all we've got to make is a little fork and also the the valve rod which is very similar to the piston rod which you always do and the, and the the little fork that we're going to make that's very similar to the crosshead so it's the same process we use for those so like i said i might just do those just off camera not sure just do a few photographs possibly but we'll, we'll come to that when we do it on, on the next video so until then speaking of the next video youtubers it'll be right